Hello everyone, how you doing? My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and this is a daily pick a card reading for Friday the 11th of November but obviously, you know, it's a timeless reading. Um, so pile number one is the Blue Appetite. Uh, pile number two is the Pink Rhodochrosite. And pile number three is the Amazonite. So I will just give you a second to choose your pile. And obviously if you want more time, uh, you can pause the video. Okay, so I'll move that guy out of the way. Sorry, I'm <laughs> just trying to get some space. Okay, so pile number one, the blue appetite. Um, I also threw in, I've got some, I've got lots of cards today. Let's see, I threw in a, an affirmation card as well. So you have within the next few weeks, pile number one. There we go. So something is changing within the next few weeks. You have the four of pentacles. You have the fool. And you have the ten of pentacles. So there's something to do with money here, pile number one. Let me just see. Oh, that's so weird. That is your affirmation card. I am valuable. Many people are thankful for my presence in their lives. That's so weird because it talks about value. And this is, seems to be like a money pile. Let's see what else you've got here. The universe is always helping me, sometimes in unexpected ways. You have gift number 17. You have unexpected income. This is definitely a money pile. Uh, I'll put that there. All right, this is definitely about work. You have occupation and you have toil and labor. Okay, so. Pile number one. You've been working very hard on something. I wish I could move this so you can, there we go. But then I have to hold it. See, I'm just gonna show you the cards. Um, so you've been working very hard on something. The, you're, you're gonna get some unexpected money. Something's gonna change within the next few weeks. There's more money coming in. So see with the Four of Pentacles, this talks about having to be very careful with money, like money being a bit tight. Um, and then you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is obviously like a, abundance, like a lot of money coming in. Or, you know, you could be signing a, a contract or something. It's something about going from... It, it's in terms of like some things you can touch, right? The Pentacles are thick, like security, money, housing, something like this. You're going from feeling a little insecure to feeling very secure. And it looks like it's something to do with your career or it's something to do with the way that you make money. The universe is about to bring you some kind of gift in terms of money and it's unexpected the way that this happens. You have, I am valuable here as well. Many people think, are thankful for my presence in their lives. I feel like whoever's chosen this pile, you've finally gotten through some block around money. Because with the Four of Pentacles, you may have had a bit of a, now please don't take this the wrong way because we all have it, right? To some degree, well, a lot of people do anyway. Um, like a bit of a lack mindset. A lot of people that come from a working class background have that. You know, like a, you have to work really hard to get money, like money's hard to come by. Um, I feel like you're kind of breaking through that a bit. Like you're learning that you're valuable and you're worth money coming into you. And that's what brings this money in. So it may be like a promotion or it may be like an unexpected um, increase in your salary or like there's, there's like somebody headhunts you or something like this or you receive some kind of gift something like that 
Yeah, so this is going to be happening within the next few weeks, pile number one. You're going to have more money coming from somewhere than you expect, okay? Um, it looks like for a lot of you it may be coming through your job, but remember money doesn't just have to come through your job. That's just one channel it can come through. It can come through many ways. And also this unexpected income card puts me in mind of the Ace of Pentacles, which can be anything. That can be like... Um, literally receiving a gift from someone, someone paying you back, maybe you're selling a house, maybe uh, you're going to get left some inheritance or something like that, okay? But money, ex extra money that you didn't think you were going to get is coming in in the next few weeks from somewhere, so, and don't, it's, it's, you know, it shouldn't be a surprise for you that it comes in because, I mean, you should be happy, right, that it comes in, obviously. Um, because if you're not, you're kind of a weir uh, weirdo, right? But, you know, you shouldn't really be surprised that it comes in because it's your blessings, like you were born to come here and have money. So it shouldn't be a surprise to you that it comes in, right? So that is your message pile number one. I hope you found it useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Um, okay, let's put that there. Pile number two, you were the pink rhodochrosite so you guys have yes yeah big old yes also some of you might be dealing with a libra because uh, that looks like the scales to me you have the universe has something very special in store for me if i can get it to focus why <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you very, very much. There we go. The universe has something very special in store for me. Everything is going to be okay. You have, let me just move these out of the way. You have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ten of Cups. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've just seen the rest of your cards pile number two. Oh my god. Look at this. You have the Sun and the Knight of Cups. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this looks like a love pile, to be honest with you. With the Knight of Cups, um, looks like you have someone coming in to make you a love offer in, I don't know, at some point. Uh, I was going to say in the near future, so I guess it's coming in the near future. Um, this with the Ace of Cups, it looks like someone new. Okay, it looks like a, a newer energy. I mean, you may very well already know them, but I would say it's probably someone newer, newer rather than an ex. Uh, they could be a water sign. They could have a little Leo in their chart. But with the Ten of Cups, this is someone coming in to offer you commitment. Um, this could lead to marriage and children and settling down if that's what you want. This person is going to make you so happy literally oh my god with the ten of cups and the sun they're gonna make it this offer that's coming in is gonna make you so happy <laughs> this is emotional fulfillment also the sun is commitment right and it's also baby so this could very well be for some of you like if you're wanting to like meet someone and have babies like this is the one coming in for you now this person now you have been single until this point because the universe had someone very special in store for you okay um, I think some of you that have this pile have maybe been doubting that this is going to come in, okay, but you have a big old yes from the universe. Yes, it is coming. It's taking a long time to get here, maybe, because it's something special, and special things take more time, okay? When something is, like, masterfully created, it takes more time, right? Everything is going to be okay. That's what you need to know. Yes, it is coming in. Yes, your person's coming in or you're going to meet someone new. Um, yes, you're going to be very happy with what they have to say to you. It's going to be very, it's going to make you very happy and everything is going to be okay. All right, pile number two. That is your message. I, oh, not my camera. <laughs> I that clam there today. Uh, I hope it was a useful message. Thank you so much for coming to check out the reading. And, uh, you know, as always, I wish you many blessings. Love and light.
And pile number three, you had the Amazonites. Uh, so let's see what you have here. You have within the next few months. I'm just trying to get the camera to focus, sorry. There we go. You have within the next few months, you have the King of Pentacles. You have the Devil. So you could be dealing with someone with Capricorn in their chart or a Taurus. Um, you have the Six of Cups. Okay, this is looking like a past energy. You have the more I trust in life, the better things turn out. And you have I am a unique child of the universe, perfectly me, exactly as I am meant to be. Okay, this is someone from your past that you're not quite done with. Okay, I feel like they might rear their head within, could be a month. Or it could be within like, I don't know, could be six weeks, eight, eight weeks, something like that. Okay. This is someone from your past. They could have been, they could be a Capricorn or they could have that somewhere in their chart or they could just be like very kind of obsessed with money, this person. I feel it was a little toxic. They're a little arrogant, this person, um, or they maybe were in the past. This person, this connection, right? This, you met this person to teach you a soul lesson, like to teach you a karmic lesson. And the lesson is that you are exactly, you're perfect, okay? Because I feel like this person may have triggered they may have triggered you. They may have triggered a spiritual awakening. They may have triggered shadow work within you. This person may have made you question your self-worth and it has led you to understand that you are perfect the way that you're meant to be, okay? I feel like this person triggered a lot of shadow work in you and you've now got to the other end of the shadow work if you see what I mean, uh, I'm having trouble speaking today, I'm sorry. So it's like this person kind of made you see your own worth, but it's not because they treated you well. I think it's the opposite of that. I think they treated you badly, um, but inadvertently it, it showed you like, it made you do the shadow work and now you're feeling very confident and happy in yourself, right? Um, And there's just a little general affirmation here for you, pile number three. The more I trust in life, the better things turn out. Because I feel, at the time, I feel this is someone that may have rejected you in some way. Could have been a job. I don't know, you make it, you know, you, you take it as it resonates. But at the time, I feel like they may have rejected you and you're like, I don't understand this. I don't understand uh, what what happened there because it may have been a little bit of a codependent relationship as well like you you know with you running about after them kind of thing so it may have been one of those I dodged a bullet but at the time you couldn't see that like at the time you were questioning this and being like why can't I have this person like you know why doesn't this person want me why is this being done to me and now looking back at this, you're like, ah, shit, like, <laughs> I totally understand why I was being redirected from this person. They were really bad for me. Uh, you've probably met someone else by this point, or if you haven't, you're about to. Because I feel like this encounter with this past person kind of taught you to trust in the universe more. Because you're like, okay, like, I see why now. I see why I couldn't have that now because there's something better coming for you. And I feel like, you know, this person is probably coming back in to apologize, but also they're probably gonna ask you for a second chance and you'll be like, no, because I feel like you wouldn't go back now because you've outgrown them, right? So that was your message, pile number three. I hope it was useful. Many thanks for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light.